Channel 11 Sports with Jesse Crow. Welcome back. Well, area soccer teams were battling for a spot in the respective state championship games last night, but now it was time for baseball and softball to compete for a spot in their title games. We'll get kicked off in Class 3 where Amity was battling in Liberty Christian, and it didn't take long for the Falcons to show why they're one of the top teams in the state. Bases loaded in the second. Brody Dotson with a shot to right. Ethan Ketcheron comes across to give Abingdon that early lead. Now with the runner on third, Jake Thacker, he'll knock one up the middle, and it looks as though he just hit into a double play, but Liberty Christian can't turn two, and the Falcons score two, extending their lead to three. Now we'll fast forward to the fifth, and with a runner on second, Chase Hungate lines this to right. Caleb Collins, he'll tack on another run as he comes across. Abingdon led four to nothing at this point, and this team was lights out in the box, but they might have been even better on the bunt. Ethan and Gibson blowing this by for the final out in the Falcons. They'll square off against the winner of the Independence Lafayette game, and that state championship game will be on Saturday. Let's go to Christianburg High School for two more state semifinals games. Chilly, ha Chill Howie taking on Auburn in the Class 1 baseball semis. Both pitchers were zoned in early as Daniel Hutton gets the punch out in the second inning, but Auburn's going to crack the scoreboard in the fourth. Runner on third, Mike Royal sends this chopper to the left side. Though the first is mishandled, so Damian Boyd comes home, and the Eagles take that 1 0 lead. Now, more from them in the fifth. Parker Hale makes good contact on this pitch down the first baseline. It's going to stay in the yard, but he'll stretch it to a triple. That'll make it 2 0. Eagles. They were looking for more, but kind of a weird play here. Runner on second. AJ Reese smacks this one into center field. It gets bobbled out there, so the runners just get confused, so the runner's going to get tossed out at second right here. I don't know what they were thinking, but either way, they're going to go on and win this one. Two to nothing, so Warrior season is over. We'll take a few steps over to the softball field where Eastside took on Auburn in the Class 1A1 semifinals. Kirsten Fleet was dominant for the Lady Eagles in the circle. One of her 16 strikeouts, she's going to Georgia. we got to watch out for her the next couple of seasons. Auburn with a 2 0 lead and adding more in the fifth. Hannah Shepard crushes this one to straightaway center. Stays in the park, but everyone's getting on their giddy up here. That'll make it 3 0 Eagles. A couple of batters later, Avery Zuckerwar hits one in the gap right over the shortstop's head. Another one's going to come across. That'll make it four rip and honestly they can't do anything in this one as Eastside is going to see their season come to a close as well as they drop four to one.